Hi guys! So I'm doing this video from my house. I don't think I've ever done a video from my house actually. I'm in my office. Um, this is so crazy, like it's been so long. But anywho, let's catch up. I just finished the third year of my professional career and it's been a hard one to say the least. Uh, I play for Atlanta this season. This is my first full season with Atlanta. And I had a new coach, Nikki Collin, who was great. Um, but I just didn't think about an opportunity, you know? Um, I averaged 10 minutes and I did well in those 10 minutes, but obviously like you wanna play more than 10 minutes. Like it is what it is. And a lot of this was for me. Like I didn't have a great season last year and I came in with probably like this much of a leash. And when I started the season, like my anxiety was just really, really bad. And I had to kind of figure that out. And I got back on my anti-anxiety medication and that helped, but like I sucked, like fucking sucked the first like three or four games the season. Um, and like, you know, kind of blew my opportunity, right? And so, once I got that under control and I talked to my coach and figured out what I needed to do, like I did those things, but at the same time, like the person playing in front of me was doing well. And then I got to start two games because the, the girl in front of me left to do some go to a wedding or something. And I did really, really well. But as soon as she came back, like like I went back to normal. And it wasn't necessarily something that I did wrong. It was just she started playing really great. We went on like a 10 game winning streak. And you know, like if it's not broke, don't fix it. So kinda, it kind of sucks because at the same time as like, I'm like, yo, I'm doing everything you want me to do, coach. You know, like I can't, I don't reap the benefits of that. And like, that's kind of situations, right? Um, and I kind of was forced to figure out who I am in the face of adversity, right? Like, I'm a joyous person. Like I have a huge personality. Like I'm always joking. I'm always cheering on my teammates, talking, clapping, that's me, right? And at one point I was so frustrated because I just felt like I didn't have any, I couldn't do anything, right? Like, and like third year, you don't want to see DMPs. Like you're not trying to see DMPs as a third year player. Like that shit sucks. Um, DMPs did not play coaches decisions, whatever. Um, and so that sucks. And so like, I would be like, man, I'm gonna come to practice. I'm not gonna talk, I'm not gonna cheer. And I would get there and I would be myself, right? <laughs> I would still cheer, I would still clap, whatever. But I realized like, I don't do that shit for them, right? Like I don't, I don't do that, I'm not that person because I want my coach to see it or I want her to play me or I want to pat on the back. Like I'm just that person. So like I think the lesson in that is why do you do what you do? Like why do you have this demeanor? Why do you work hard? Why do you do all these things? And especially as a professional athlete, if I decided to just quit or like just phone it in because I'm like, man, my minutes is set. Like, I'm not playing more than 10. Like, I know what it is. Like, if she don't come to me at this time, I'm probably not going to play today. Then I don't hurt anybody ultimately but myself because it's my career. My coaching staff, they want me to get better, but they don't got no skin in the game. Like, they just go to the next person. They just dragged somebody over me. So focusing on what I could control, which was my attitude, which was my demeanor, which is how hard I work, and letting everything kind of fall into place, however it may be, whether it's in my favor or against my favor, was probably a huge lesson. And like, I just learned like, you know, like, I'm this person because I'm this person. Like, the last game of the season, playoff game, we made it all the way to the semifinals. I didn't play a lick. And as much as I wanted to be pissed, I had to figure out how I could be useful. So I'm coaching on my teammates. Like, if I see some yo, take that shot like you got that nah like that's you you know like i'm coaching my teammates like i'm making myself useful and maybe that means like i'm the fifth coach on this goddamn bench like and it sucks because you don't want to be that person you don't want to be the coach but figuring out like how you're useful even when it's not in the role that you necessarily want to play is a huge thing and because when it rains it pours i then went to china and got cut uh <laughs> I know, right? And it sucks because I've never been cut in my career, like ever. And that includes trying out for three USA teams. Like I've never been cut. That shit was like definitely an ego bruiser. Um, but I can only rest in the fact that I did everything I could, right? Like I played to the best of my ability. I wasn't out there wilding and it just wasn't a good fit. Like that's really off top. Like we weren't playing well. Management wanted to go in a different direction. It is what it is. Um, and so that was another lesson, right? Like I'm there and I'm like, bro, like why am I this person? Like do I, am I this joyous person cause that's me? Or do I work hard cause that's me? Or do I work hard cause I wanna, because I want someone else to see it. And 
Like, in China, I got a lot better. Like, this season, I got so much better, right? Like, because, shit, I was working out the whole year, goddamn, <laughs> fuck. Uh, but realistically, like, I got so much better because I was working hard and I was under great coaching staff and I was trying to absorb everything I could. And even though that didn't necessarily show up in the stat sheet or in my minutes played, like, I see it in my game, in my own personal progression. And, like, I can only say, like, my shit, you know, I, I can only believe that my time coming. Like, that's all I could do. Like, I can only control the work I put in and control the effort I get and believe that my time's coming like that's it like it ain't really nothing else um so right now I'm at home I got a couple of job offers to go back overseas but I don't know if I'll take them we'll see um this is my last year on my rookie contract after this I'll be an unrestricted free agent so this is a definitely a big season for me and I want to prove that I'm here for a reason right like like my model is still here because every day Regardless, I'm still here, like, and that, that goes from just, not just athletically, but, like, for life, like, I've been through so much, and so many people tried to break me, and I overcame so much, and, you know, like, I'm still fucking here, period, and that's how I feel about my career, like, it's not where I want to be, and I definitely got really big dreams, and really big aspirations, and really big shoes to fill, you know, my mom's an Olympian Hall of Famer, my brother's a two-time NBA champion, so I ain't trying to be, <laughs> you know, I'm baby goat over here, I gotta show up, so, you know, like, my time coming and I just gotta know that. So I don't know, hopefully this encourages you, especially if you're in high school and you're younger and you're struggling with your role or you know, like you wanna be the person that's playing 35 minutes, taking all the shots, but maybe that's not true. Like maybe that's just not your role and like figuring out who you could be every day to be useful, to be an addition to the team is a huge lesson. Um, and this year, my biggest gift to the team was being ready when my number was called, whether it was for five minutes or 20 minutes or not at all and being a positive a positive person like my biggest thing this year which is i'm like so proud of and my ex and me and i asked my coaches like did you ever see a difference in my attitude whether i played zero minutes or 25 period any day the, any day the year any day of the season and they all resoundingly said it said no and i'm proud of that like because i couldn't always say i did that i couldn't always say that even when shit wasn't going my way, I had a great attitude and I was still giving something to the team. I couldn't always say I was an energy sucker. Every year is a lesson, every year is some growth, and you know, I think I grew a little bit this year, and that's the goal. So yeah, um, still play for the dream. Come check the kid out soon. Merry motherfucking Christmas, bitches. Happy Christmas, Hanukkah.